I'm Jaro, here to react to Steven Universe Future, Season 1, Episode 10, Prickly Pear. So, I think... Okay, judging from the last episode, um, Steven is going through a lot of life stuff right now, and once again, he is having trouble controlling new emerging powers, and also, he has to kind of take on a different role than what he's been used to because all of the problems that he's been used to solving are sort of mellowing out. Uh, okay, I wouldn't say they're mellowing out, but he, he can no longer solve them in the same way that he used to. So I definitely think we're going to see the mutated cactus plant from the um, intro in this episode, but will we see any signs of corrupted Steven stuff? I um, guess there's only one way to find out. I hope it doesn't hurt my heart again. It's going through so much. A green thumb. <laughs> no, this is sad. Wait. No, this is sad. <laughs> I'm sad. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Also bad at this. Be for him, gems. It's not that they're not in. Ooh, shouldn't have done that. Ooh, shouldn't have done that. No. <laughs> Is it going to be a manifestation of all his emotions that he has to physically fight? That is so Steven Universe. <laughs> Gives out life like it's not. Maybe let's not. <laughs> mm. Yeah, is he? I'm uncomfortable. This is a plant like a reflection of him. This is good. Talk it out. <laughs> Honey. It's okay to need to be needed. Yeah, like he was just born. <laughs> He was just born and you tell him all this. <sighs> you know what, that that makes him an even better allegory for Steve. It talks. It, is his spit more advanced? Now. 
He's gonna repeat all of that. Oh God. Hang out with Connie or something. Oh, this is too relatable, it hurts. It is kind of funny though that he's getting all mad at the thing that just repeats what it says. A little bit of comedy in there. Through the pain. Oh. <sighs> Season one vibes of the previous series, I guess. Um, look man, you've killed a lot of watermelon Stevens before, maybe it's time to put this one down. Put him down, um, I know he can talk, but you should walk. <laughs> oh my Christ, okay. There's no curtains. Oh God. Oh God. No, 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 no. No. Oh no, 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 no. I'll need a fuse or something. <laughs> They're still processing he's repeating everything I said. Sugar makes Stephen hug a cactus, 2019. Oh my god! Oh, we really gotta put the boy through that. Somebody call Bismuth. We don't even have time in the episode. And I hate it. Not the episode, but that there's not more time in the episode. Okay, okay, okay. Thoughts on that one? Oh, I was probably just noticing a very real thing. I 
I don't know if there's ever been another um, Steven Universe episode that has so thoroughly cracked me open like a walnut. That was my initial reaction recorded back in December. And it's it's been a few months since then and the real and final end of Steven Universe has been announced and I can finally form complete sentences about what I saw. So for this final thoughts portion of this video, I'm gonna just start off with some observations about the show and then get into why the episode cracked me open like a walnut, as my past self put it. Um, so first of all, like in, in the months since um, this episode came out, it's been interesting to see how the fandom has started portraying Steven as just this 100% um, USDA certified angsty boy. And I, I think rewatching it, it's obvious that he's not all gone. He's not a different person now. I'm, like, look at him gardening. He was having a good time in his little apron. He was smiling about cute things and being happy about little things that he made, and that was nice. And that was him still. So, like, like it's fun to dramatize um, Steven as his older self now, talking to his past self. Um, but I, I don't think that there's an absolute disconnect um, from one to the other. And, and second of all, I really wonder how, um, like, if Stephen's assessment of the gems was correct, like, I, I know he has reason to think the way he does, but Pearl and everyone, they have grown as characters. Um, Pearl's shape-shifting now, and Amethyst is thriving, and Garnet is super stable and less stressed out, I guess. And I, I wonder if, I wonder if they would be able to handle it better than he thinks. And I don't know though. Maybe it's important that they know that he thinks that he can't handle them. Or I, I mix up the order of the words somehow in there. Um, but yeah, that that is as far as I got thinking about the episode. And and now on to why my initial reaction for this included multiple minutes of just staring blankly into space. Um so like, I'm used to knowing the answers to a lot of the problems posed in, I guess, shows and movies and stuff. Or, or maybe it's just that they usually offer problems with simple solutions that are just really difficult for the character in particular to get through. But this, this one um, hit me hard because I don't have the answers. Like. I I do not know how to resolve the pain that comes from knowing the people you care about and the people who want to help you are too fragile to actually help you. You can pinpoint the exact moment in my reaction um, when this got too real. It is just unsettling not to have the answers here and it's even more unsettling to have the round pink face of Steven Universe turn directly to me and read out the contents of my soul. So yeah, what do you say um, when someone offering their help is definitely 100% not strong enough to help? So far my answer to this has been just deal with it yourself, but the show seems to be saying that that is a terrible, awful, disastrous idea. But who knows, maybe it's just a terrible idea for Steven, and the rest of us mere mortals can actually um, solve this by just taking it to a therapist. Questions for discussion. Um, is Steven underestimating the gems? Can Connie help him? Please join me in terror in the comments down below, and thank you for watching.
I'm gonna upload reactions to the coming episodes, but until then, I, I think, uh, like, I, I know nobody came here for this, but I, I want to keep uploading uh, a video a week. Um, I, I'm thinking about, like, doing drawing stuff and videos on art, and hopefully they'll be good videos. So, thank you for watching, and hopefully Rebecca Sugar doesn't just straight up kill the boy in the next episodes. I, I have no faith in anything at this point. <sighs> See you in the next video.